Mark Simone. Mr. New York. 710 W-O-R. Well, uh, hey, Ann Coulter, the uh, best-selling author, the great columnist. Of course, you can follow her on Twitter. Uh, but it, better yet, uh, Substack. That's the best place right now. You go to annculter.substack.com because there she's got videos, podcasts, uh, interviews, all kinds of stuff. annculter.substack.com. Ann Coulter, how you doing? Fine, thanks. How are you, Mark Simone? I'm good. Now, Joe Biden has apologized for using the word illegal. Don't you think you should do the same thing? <laughs> This is sort of a common, um, I'd say trope, but that's cliche, a c- common technique of the left, uh, which is, is that as soon as we figure out what, what they're up to, what a horrible policy is, they just keep changing the English language. <laughs> um, it's like you know the scorched earth policy um, approach to argument. They retreat, burning the English language as they go. Um, so you know, abortion has gone through a million iterations. Liberal has gone through a million iterations. It, it started as you know progressive, communist, liberal. That was supposed to be the good one to fool us. You know, we've gone through that all over again, and and we're back to progressive, I guess. Um, but yes, this is. I write about this in Adios America. It's really unbelievable. This is a huge thing with them to try to turn illegal into, as they say, um, is this the equi- this is the equivalent of the N word? Um, <laughs> no, no, you can't go around banishing words by constantly claiming this or that word is the equivalent of the N word. Illegal alien is the legal phrase. It's the official phrase. It is in written U.S. law. That's the name. Well, it's also the literal description of what they are. Yes, uh, yes. No, and it's, I mean, the, the most recent one isn't even undocumented. It's newcomers. <laughs> uh, although they've been here a while. They've been here like two years now, and the hotel room's paid for by all of us. Uh, yes, now first and health care and food and iPhones. It's like a game show. And now you get a new car. It's unbelievable. And uh, now you have, a lot of them are gangs, Venezuelan gangs, the shoplifting. All. What is it with the uh, Democratic officials that they want shoplifting? What is the purpose of that? You know, I was just thinking, remember that movie? Um, <laughs> um, I can't remember the name of it, um, but it had one of the Brolin Sun, and it was about how, a true story about how Los Angeles police, or maybe it was an FBI agent in Los Angeles, actually cleaned up and removed the mafia from Los Angeles. So, you know, all the mob stories set in New York, Chicago, um, I don't know, Pittsburgh, wherever else. But there was never, or maybe there was for a few years, there was basically not a mob presence in in Los Angeles. And it's, it's really an heroic story about how one man or a few men um, can so miraculously change history, as as was the case with Bill Bratton and Giuliani and then Bloomberg in New York City. The, the, the change to New York City, um, the change to Los Angeles and the difference in what a safe place Southern California was compared to mob-influenced areas. Uh, and now we're having, you know, it's like a reverse it's a wonderful life. We have all these Democrats going around, you know, one or two very powerful George Soros. He doesn't even have to contribute that much to win DA races. And we've seen this happening all over the country. Um, a George Soros gets in and criminals go free. Uh, and poor law abiding people are, are, you know, hiding away locked in their homes. I saw Eric Adams. Sorry, I'm going on kind of a tear here. No, that's okay. um, I saw Eric Adams bragging, I guess, last week about how um, the rate of this or that crime has actually gone down in New York. Well, yeah, okay, but for those of us who who are in New York, um, you know, you, me, our friends, well, we've had to change our behavior in a pretty significant and unpleasant way. Um, I would say many people, myself included, um, are basically unable to to take the subway, which we pay for. You can't stay out late at night. You can't walk walk alone, um, particularly if you're if you're a female, um, or I suppose an older person, or you're in not such a great neighborhood. So you know, thanks, thanks, Mayor. Um, we're all imprisoned in our home so that you can brag about the crime rate going down. 
Yeah, and he's the same guy. We got to get people back to work so that they can use the restaurants and the Broadway. How about just get let people out of their house so they can use it? And <laughs> yes. hey, have you run into? I don't know if you ever take the subway even before. Um, in yeah, the game. once in a while. Okay, so have you had? Have you seen the National Guard? Are they checking? This is so crazy. Are they checking your bags? Well, here's the problem. Uh, the National Guard, you can put them in the subway. They have absolutely no authority to do anything down there. They can't arrest. They can't do anything. So they just check bags. No criminal carries luggage. They don't have a briefcase. <laughs> they don't bring a purse. What, what, is, what criminal would have a bag with them? <laughs> no, that's well, that's what was so, I don't know if people understand this, um, but that was what was so brilliant about stop and frisk. Uh, one of the main targets of the left to to get rid of stop and frisk, um, because with Giuliani and then Bloomberg's police um, sort of aggressively applying it and applying it in areas where, as Bloomberg famously said, the crimes occur. So that's going to, yes, um, um, disadvantage a lot more young black males than, you know, I don't know, elderly white people or Asians. Uh, but once the, the stop and frisk was going, it wasn't so much to, to bust the guy for, I don't know, drugs or whatever. It was because criminal it forced criminals to stop carrying guns. Yeah. <laughs> if they jumped the turnstile, they'd get stopped and frisked, and their gun would be taken away. <laughs> so instead of, you know, going to parties where somebody disses them and they shoot up the party, um, they'd go out without guns. That was that was a huge advance for, for defeating crime in New York City. But no, we had to get rid of that because it worked. Yeah, and this checking bags, if the, the fact that the person has a briefcase kind of proves he's not a criminal. It's a guy going to work. <laughs> the fact that the... I, <laughs> This yeah, they're checking bags. Regular men going to work, <laughs> opening up the briefcase. Oh, for Pete's sake. If you see a woman with a PBS tote bag, you know this is not a criminal. What do you have to look in it for? Uh, I mean, it's <laughs> that's a good point. Any woman carrying a recycling bag, you can probably let go. Yeah. I mean, I'd arrest her for recycling, but that's uh, not what they're looking for. Oh, before we run out of time, what about TikTok? Do you, are you, you're not on TikTok, are you? Um, I got on um, just because Nikki Haley was attacking it, uh, and I really, really hate her. Um, I actually really like it. There's some fantastic videos on TikTok. It is, mostly consists of um, girls dancing, and they're cute, and that's fun. Um, no, I think this is stupid, and I noticed that the guy – I mean, if <laughs> – if China wants to spy on us and get our data, I promise you, Mark Simone, they can do that right now. And if the Chai Coms are wasting their time watching girls dancing on TikTok, that probably helps us. Um, I mean, there, there, there's definitely a problem with, with China stealing intellectual property, but I really don't think the partial ownership uh, of, this, of this app – um, poses any particular threat to us. They can get all of the data that Nikki Haley and others are claiming they're, they're you know, sweeping through their TikTok. They can get that right now. They can buy it. Their services. They're probably the ones selling it. Yeah. Um, if, if you think your computer is secure, uh, I got news for you. It's not. <laughs> so I think it's stupid, and I think it'll probably face a lot of court challenges. And the last thing I'd like to say about it is I see that the bill to, quote, ban, which really just means force China to sell their ownership stake to, I guess, an American company, um, meaning this is, you know, really jingoistic bill. <laughs> and guess who's promoting it? Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, who was one of three Republicans, three, to vote against the impeachment of Mayorkas. Um, yeah. So great that he finally gets jingoistic on something that's utterly irrelevant well, as opposed to our own border. The other argument to keep TikTok, for whatever reason, they don't do any political censorship. Conservatives are not censored on TikTok. So, and the fear is if you do have to sell it, the only one that would buy it is Mark Zuckerberg. And then it would <laughs> totally control all social media. I think even the Biden DOJ would stop that. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. That uh, Zuckerberg helps them win elections, you know, with his uh, 500 million uh, to buy some votes. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to pass the right. antitrust review. Well, everybody follow uh, Ann Coulter on Twitter, but even better, Substack, where she does podcasts, videos, interviews, lots of columns. You just go to annculter.substack.com, annculter.substack.com. Dot com and get all of her books 
And Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Good to talk to you, Mark Simone. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. Uh, oh, uh, check out the webpage. There's some great stuff up there. Uh, this guy that was really going after special counsel Robert Hur, this Hank Johnson, he is, uh, many people believe, the single dumbest person ever to serve in Congress. Watch this video. This is a couple of years ago. He asked a question so shockingly stupid. Everybody was just stunned. Take a look at this. Oh, also, uh, around the world, Joe Biden is ridiculed. You know, Saturday Night Live, our shows are t- Colbert, totally corrupt. They won't make fun of Biden. But watch... Uh, legitimate comedy shows around the world this is italian tv network watch this sketch on joe biden it is just brutal take a look at it this is what saturday night live should be doing uh this is all up on the web page go to 710 wor.com slash mark 710 wor.com slash mark